Hi, welcome to my video. In this I'm going to show you how you can access a Russian proxy server to um, hide your real location and make it appear as if you come from Russia. Okay, um, now a proxy server, as you may be aware, is um, a computer that sits between you and all the web applications or web servers that you visit. So you can see here in this graphic here, the proxy server sits in the middle and all the communication is routed through this server. Okay, um, it sends requests to the uh, website you visit or forwards your email and receives the replies. Okay, so this end here um, will never see your real location or your real address. It will only see the location of the proxy server. If we're using a Russian proxy server, it would look like you are a visitor from Russia. Okay, um, bear in mind if you do use this process, I mean, lots of people use Russian IP addresses, but also some big sites do block access from um, Russian IP addresses. It's because a lot of spam, um, a lot of hacking and a lot of cyber criminals base themselves through Russian IP addresses um, because they consider it safer. Um, but just bear that in mind. Uh, but here we go. Right, let's show you how to use a Russian proxy server. Right, at the moment I'm in the UK. Um, you can see if I go to Google, I go there. If I go to this little website that looks up my location, it can show you I'm in Great Britain here, um, in the northwest. It looks up my IP address and says, oh, you're in UK. At the moment it's getting my IP address from my um, ISP. Okay, so the people I pay for my web access, that's my location. But we can change this by using uh, a proxy server. Okay, so I'm going to show you here now a program called Identity Cloaker. Identity Cloaker is a security program, okay, that what it does is gives you access to a network of proxy servers all over the world. Um, there's proxies in Russia, France, loads in UK, Ireland, France, Italy, California, US, Australia, places like that, uh, Germany, Switzerland. Um, basically, it allows you to select, click on any of these um, proxy servers anywhere in the world, and it, it um, creates a secure connection to it. Now, it's a bit more than a proxy server in this case, because it actually uses a, a technology called SSH. So it actually encrypts your connection if you want it to, okay? So not only does it route your information through a, a, a secure proxy server, it also encrypts it. So no, none of your um, web history or your web, anything you do on the web is visible anywhere, even at your ISP. Normally, an ISP has a complete record of everything you do online. If you put encryption in by using something like SSH or a, a VPN, a virtual private network, then it can't be seen at your ISP either. Okay, so it's a combination of a, a proxy server network and um, security, a secure tunnel. Okay, but I'm showing you here uh, a Russian proxy, so we will move down and select one of the Russian servers. Sorry, I've had to obscure these IP addresses. It's a security program and people like to keep them <coughs> private okay to the subscribers okay now I'm gonna click on okay here and it will connect and then it's routing me now through a Russian proxy server at this point I now have a Russian IP address I've encrypted my connection as well so it, it's not visible anywhere if I was just browsing uh, streaming video or something like that you probably best to turn the encryption off you just move this little slider here okay um, and that's it basically so I'm just going to minimize that now and we'll fire up my uh, web page <coughs> and now we'll go to this location uh, finder and you can see now my location is listed as Moscow in Russia this is because I am browsing through a Russian proxy okay that server is sitting in a data center in Moscow so everything I do now is rooted through Moscow so if I go and visit any site they won't see where I'm from they will see a visitor from Russia okay again remember it can cause problems some sites block Russian IP addresses but you could if you just want to hide your real location you could use a Canadian or a BBC a, a UK one um, there are lots of UK servers there because lots of people use these programs to access things like BBC iPlayer, 
which you can only access with a British IP address. So you would just collect a, connect through a UK server in that case. Okay, well, that's, I want to keep the video short and I hope that's helped. Um, Identity Cloaker is well recommended. Um, you can, you can find it on the link in this video and thank you for watching. Goodbye.